If you haven't tried Nano Banana yet, I highly recommend checking it out. But there is an issue. If you want to generate an image in a specific size, it doesn't work by default. So in this video, I'm going to teach you a trick that makes Nano Banana generate images in the size you need. Now I'm doing this in Google's AI Studio. You can go to AI.dev and use this model completely for free. There's also a lot of other models you can use for free in AI Studio. So I definitely recommend checking it out. The prompt was a generated image of a banana walking down the street. So it did it and it did it in a square and it's doing that by default. Now let's say we want to edit this prompt and with AI Studio, we can edit it and rerun, which is pretty cool. So we can say aspect ratio 16, nine, and let's regenerate. We're gonna rerun that prompt and let's see if it actually adheres to that aspect ratio. And here we have our image. The issue is it still is a square. It did not give us the 16 by nine dimension that we asked for. So here's the trick. You have to download your image and then upload both of them. So here we have our first image that we just uploaded or we just created in our second image. I downloaded this, then uploaded it. You have to do it in this order. It's going to take the dimensions of the second image that's uploaded and say resize the first image to the dimensions of the second image uploaded. And then we're going to run that prompt. And this is just an image that I got off the internet of 16 by nine aspect ratio. And here we go. We have our image resized to the correct aspect ratio here. And now we're going to test this one more time, but now doing it with a nine by 16 aspect ratio. So like an Instagram reel or TikTok size. So it worked. It did give us an image in that aspect ratio, but it didn't resize it. So what I'm going to say is make sure to fill the entire image. So there is no borders and let's see if that prompt resolves it. So sometimes it just takes a little bit of prompt engineering. Perfect. Okay. So now we have our image in the correct dimensions and it's working perfectly. So that's just a little hack. You can use this if you are in AI studio, if you're in Gemini, if you're using the API to build an app with Nano Banana and you want to give users the ability to generate things in a specific aspect ratio, you could build this into the API and just add this step basically to generate things in the right aspect ratio for users. Pretty cool. And then just to show you what happens, if we add another message, it should take the dimensions of the last image that we uploaded or that we generated. So let's see if we said add another banana to the image. Is it going to continue to do it in this nine by 16 aspect ratio or will it do it in a square? And there we go. So it's going to take it in the aspect ratio of the last image that it received. So I hope that this was helpful. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more free content like this to help you if you are building with AI or no code tools. Check out the link in the description to go to our AI app building course and we're giving away the first lesson for free. So click the link in the description to get that first free lesson. Leave a comment and let me know what you think and if you have any other questions about how to use Nano Banana or any other AI tools. We'll see you in the next video.